Oh, how beautiful is this? Stop fire, Mina. <laughs> <laughs> It's a baby song. Oh, this is oh, terrible. Oh, is this Amy Grant? Yeah. This is Amy Grant. That's it. Hold on, okay. I'm hijacking this. Okay. Is this baby stuff? Okay. Yeah. In that case. <laughs> you get the entertainment if you join us early. Wait for it. Oh, about to lose my glasses. Baby did a bad, bad thing. <laughs> Baby did a bad, very, bad thing. Very precise up there. Baby did a bad, bad thing. That's all the words I can remember. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Isaac. Oh, see, if you join early, you oh, get all the entertainment. That baby's in if trouble. All the people sure. who join late, they don't get to hear Jeremy sing. Baby did a bad, bad thing. You have to watch the oh, replay. What did it? What did the baby do? <laughs> A bad, bad thing. Yeah, I've changed a few nappies where I was singing that. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, so funny. You can't send them back though once you've gone. I'm just going to adjust that down. Are you slumping in your seat or am I? No, you're That's just a, a lot taller stretch, than me. Stretch up. There we go. I I'll need to be closer down. to the camera. All right. So today, oh, are you going to do welcome. the introduction? Yeah, I'll do the introduction. Welcome. It's Monday night and that means it's time for Kim's Top 5. <laughs> And tonight, if you haven't kind of got it from the intro, we're talking Kim's top five for babies. babies, which is pretty topical at the moment, isn't it really? It is. So we thought with the launch of the Seedlings products that it would be a great time to talk about babies mm. and how you actually use essential oils with babies. Obviously they're natural, so I'm just going to slather it all over my kids. Well, if you read the internet, that's probably what it would tell you to do. And that's not the right thing because it's natural. <laughs> We're talking natural oils here. Well, we had a conversation before we went on air about how mushrooms are not natural too. And, <laughs> and if you went around here and picked a few mushrooms, you may not live to tell the tale. True. But they're true. natural. They are natural. Yeah, so, so essential oils. So natural doesn't necessarily always mean good. Is that what... what? Well, you'll talk about it, won't you? Yeah. So with using essential oils with babies and, and toddlers... so. This talk tonight is mainly for under twos, okay? So I'm going to call it babies and toddlers, yep. and we're looking at naught to twos, basically. Yep. That's not our audience. No, but some of our audience has babies naught yeah, to two. True. Or you yep. might be a grandmother or a grandfather, or you know babies, yep. you've had babies, you're going to have babies. You want a baby? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to talk about how you use essential oils safely with babies. So I'm actually going to start by talking about my do's and don'ts um, around using essential oils. Rather yeah. than just cover my top five, I'm going to cover yeah. some quick safety guidelines and my do's and don'ts. So I guess always read the label. Um, that's the first thing. There are, you know, always dilute when we're talking about babies. So my general rule is particularly under three months, I don't use essential oils on babies under three months unless they need it for a particular health challenge or, or something yeah. that they're experiencing. Then I would use an essential oil and I would dilute, dilute, dilute or put it in the diffuser. And there are certain oils that you can't use with babies, which I'm going to cover off in a minute. But mm. I just want to make mention that, you know, for the first three months, I tend to avoid using essential oils if I don't need to, okay? Because their, their, livers, their livers are just sort of, you know, come out into the world and they're experiencing new things. And, you know, we don't want to overload them with too many new, uh, uh, you know, new things. Yeah. So um, I guess what the, like in terms of dilution, so for, um, you know, if you were to use an oil in that naught to three month range, I would suggest one to two drops in 50 mils, okay? Wow. Now that's okay. not to say yeah. that um, there's some of us in this group who have used like a stronger dilution than that, but in general, particularly if you are telling other parents that you know um, that they should try using essential oils, then you want to make sure that you're being on the overly cautious side. So one to two drops in 50 mils. And the reason for that 
is because you don't know that that other baby that you're recommending, you know, that the mum try essential oils hasn't got some health condition. Like maybe they've just had a vaccination in the last few days. Maybe they um, are on some medication. Maybe their mum was on medication while she was pregnant with them. Maybe they're exposed to environmental pollutants in their house, in their environment where they live. Um, maybe their parents are using a mineral baby oil or some kind of petrochemical baby products on them and you don't know all of those things and they will all contribute to um, the baby you know having possibly having a reaction to the essential oils and it's not because the essential oils aren't pure or anything like that it's usually because of the other things the child has got going on in their environment so you want to make sure that um, you dilute so for not to three months only when required, and if you're diluting um, one to two drops in 50 mils is a good ratio for babies, okay? Then so when we- Dilute, dilute, dilute. Yeah. Yeah. Then when we get a little bit older, we so from the three months to two years type period, we're looking at two to five drops in okay. 50 mils, yeah. okay? Now, when we talk about diluting, we, we're not talking about going to the cupboard and getting vegetable oil, like a, you know, a canola oil or something like that, or anything that's labelled vegetable love canola oil. oil. You know I do, because we already had a conversation about that earlier tonight as well. I'm talking a good quality carrier oil. Now, because it's a baby and you don't know that your baby hasn't got some kind of nut allergy, you probably want to avoid a, you know, a carrier oil that's got nuts in it, so almond oil, sesame oil, just to make sure that your baby's not going to have a reaction. So looking at something like jojoba oil or coconut oil, um, you know, they're probably more on the safer sides of the carrier the, oils. V6, what, what's your opinion on that? So because... I do really like V6, and mm -hmm. I, I certainly used it with my own children. However, yeah. it does contain, um, you know, some nut oil. So that's why, yeah. it, you know... I, I do err uh, on the side of caution when it comes to yeah. other parents. I mean, my girls grew up on a macadamia farm, so <laughs> we also used a lot of macadamia oil, and, and I figured that if they were going to be allergic to nuts, we would have known it by then. because They were, I, they were surrounded by nuts. I lived on, like, when we had the macadamia farm, we produced these nuts, and they were bush spices, and I think I ate, like, a 500-gram packet a day of these nuts. So, um, you know, so I figured if they were allergic, <laughs> I would have known. <laughs> Um, anyway, so there's some of my basic do's and don'ts. Always patch test. If you're trying a new oil on your baby, don't give the baby a full-on body massage and then, you know, they have some kind of reaction. Patch test on the inside of their arm or the inside of their knee just to see, you know, um, whether that particular oil is going to cause any kind of reaction. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought if the baby had a reaction, it would be like peeling a prawn, wouldn't it? It'd probably look like it was a prawn. It'd it be would. It'd be and, terrible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. So careful. Always err on the side of caution. Patch test. Dilute. 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 Yeah. Okay. So my five oils that I avoid with babies oh, and toddlers. I thought okay? you were going to go five top oils, but I'm going to do the five okay. to avoid. Five first. to avoid. Okay? Yeah. Well, that's a good place to start. All right. So the first one's kind of two together, but they're for the same reason that I'm telling you to avoid, and that is clary sage and sage. Okay. Now, the reason that I've lumped them together at number five is because they do have, um, you know, they've been known to contain um, compounds which have estrogenetic, um, you know, effects. So I kind of avoid those with babies. Um, they don't need them. So hmm. we're not going to use them on babies. Yeah. Um, the next one is um, wintergreen. And the reason that I avoid wintergreen is because it contains methyl salicylate, which is a similar ingredient to aspirin. Now, you're not going to give your baby, you know, huge doses of aspirin, so we're not going to use that on babies. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about that earlier, just methyl, you know, um, wintergreen, yeah. yeah, but the methyl salicylate, it's not something that you want to heaps and heaps of in your body because you can actually overdose on yeah, country. So, because it, it, it basically thins the blood. Yeah. So you don't want to be giving that yeah. to a newborn baby because if, you know, like you don't know whether they've got some blood clotting mm -hmm. issues or anything like that, particularly when they're a newborn. So yeah. you're not going to use methyl salicylate. Another oil you're not going to use is hyssop, okay? So hyssop um, is contraindicated for people with epilepsy. And with a newborn baby, you don't know whether your baby might have some form of epilepsy. So you're not going mm. to use hyssop. Yeah. My number two for avoiding is eucalyptus. Now, the top two are for the same sort of reason. So eucalyptus and peppermint, yeah. we avoid them with under twos because one in 10,000 babies is likely to have some kind of respiratory distress 
from using those two oils okay now that's not to say once again that you know if you may have already used that oil with your baby um, and had no reaction but there are babies out there who do have reactions so as a general rule I encourage parents to look at other oils so if you're looking at an alternative for eucalyptus maybe myrtle or melaleuca alternifolia which is tea tree yeah. um, even lemon in the diffuser is a great alternative mm. over winter um, yeah so you know there yeah. are other oils out yeah. there yeah so that's the top five to, to avoid. avoid yeah yeah let's let's not get that right <laughs> to run, avoid so if you came way. late and you missed Jeremy saying baby baby did a bad bad thing you'll have to watch the video yeah. right from the beginning yeah. So he did his interpretation of Chris Isaac. So five to avoid, which is good. It's important to start off being cautious. Yeah. So let's let's get into the five top oils that you do recommend. Okay. So number... Or, sorry, top... Five products. Oh, they are products, yeah. Because the number five is actually um, not, an, not, tech, not an essential oil. True. But it's actually the... Seedlings oil. Yeah, seedlings. <laughs> so I'm so excited about this new product range. It's amazing. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to smell it. The baby, the seedlings baby oil. Um, it, it, you know, it smells amazing. It's got. What are you doing? Nothing. Just keep You're going. always doing things. I'm not doing anything. It's fine. Keep going. Sorry. Okay, so um, I often say to parents that, um, you know, if olive oil contains olives and macadamia oil contains macadamias and jojoba oil contains jojoba, what does, what baby? does baby oil <laughs> contain? <laughs> and the standard supermarket baby oil does not contain babies. It contains mineral oil. And mineral oil is basically a byproduct from the production of, you know, oil and petroleum. So always avoid um, mineral oils on your baby, okay? Now, Young Living has come out with this great alternative. Um, you know, I'm absolutely in love with it. I've put it on my arms this afternoon. And um, are you using the baby lotion? Yeah, it's great. I love the smell of it. Feel, feel this. Doesn't that feel like a baby's bottom? Yes. Does it smell like a baby's bottom? <laughs> I guess it depends what the baby's bottom was doing and who did the baby, <laughs> where, the, where the baby was up to. Yeah, but look at this. You know how they say you should never put anything on your skin that you're not willing to put in your mouth? Oh, no, it's the other way around. Oh, don't worry. Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so all the seedlings range, um, oh, including the baby wipes, the baby oil, they all contain this amazing essential oil blend, which we call Calm Scent. Yeah. And it's geranium, ylang, -ylang bergamot. And the good thing about it is the bergamot oil is furacuramin. I always say that wrong. Furacuramin free which basically that's the ingredient in bergamot oil that makes bergamot photosynthesis oh photosensitive sensitive. Sensitive, yeah so okay. basically it's what causes your skin to have a pigmentation or a reaction when you go out in the sun so that's why bergamot is on the list along with the citruses but in these particular products they've taken that ingredient out of the bergamot so that it means that you can put the baby products on your baby and you know it's it's not going to have that photosensitive yeah. reaction. So um, that's in it. Lavender. Um, I think I've covered all of them. Um, so they're the five um, oils that... Oh, coriander. I forgot coriander. Mm. Ylang Ylang, bergamot, lavender, coriander, and geranium. So amazing, amazing oils. Even great for mm. our skin. I love the baby wipes as makeup remover. And even to throw some in the car for those, you know, unexpected little accidents or yeah. in the handbag, put some in a Ziploc bag. They're absolutely great and they smell amazing. And so. it certainly does make your skin feel good. Yeah. And everyone found that on the weekend when we launched the Seedlings product. So I really am excited. All natural, plant-based, yeah. vegan-friendly, um, no parabens, no phthalates, no nasty chemicals. You know, um, and I saw before that someone, I think it was Nicole, said it's a great baby shower present. Absolutely yeah. is. If you know someone who's having a baby at your work or whatever, you can all chip in and buy your friend, uh, you know, a baby shower gift free of all the nasty chemicals. It, it's amazing. So that's my number five. That's good. Number four. Okay. Now we're back on the oils, aren't we? Yeah. We're talking oils. So the yeah. last four yeah. are all oils. oils. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether people want to have a guess at what number one is, but... I'm sure you probably know, but you can have a guess anyway. Um, so some of these go together. So the main things I get asked by parents is, um, first of all, if their child has unhappy skin. Okay. So there are two oils that 
are my go-to kind of oils for unhappy skin with babies. Um, the first one is frankincense, um, mixed with jojoba, mixed with coconut oil, uh, you know, I put that in sort of diaper cream, although the seedlings range now has a diaper cream, so no more making baby cream, yep, awesome. <laughs> baby nappy cream. Um, but frankincense, love frankincense for all skin conditions, regardless of whether it's babies, adults, whoever, I love, love frankincense for that. So mm. um, that's my number four is frankincense. Great in the diffuser to calm, um, particularly when mums are a little bit, you know, like you can you can mm. have sort of feelings of anxiousness when you've had a baby and you're not sure what to do. Um, you know, maybe you're you've decided to breastfeed and it's not working out how you want it, and you have those anxious feelings. Diffusing some frankincense and um, my number three oil, which is lavender. That's a great yeah. combination for yeah. mums. It just helps them to relax because your breast milk's not gonna come down if you're not relaxed and, and in a calm state. Mm -hmm. So obviously frankincense and lavender in the diffuser is great for relaxing mum. Lavender is also great for skin. I love to put it in, you know, obviously it's in the baby oil, but I love to make it up mm. in babe, like for a baby massage. Yeah. Very great, like good oil for unhappy skin but also great to get a good night's rest. You know, it calms everyone down, puts us in yep. a peaceful state. Um, awesome, awesome oil. It's, it's number three on my list. And that's the reality. I, I mean, obviously I've had uh, two kids, so went through the baby thing. And as much as, you know, we like to think it's beautiful and it's calm and, you know, beautiful baby. I mean, the reality is there can be crying, there can be stress, there can be sleepless nights there. There's a lot of things there that can make life quite difficult for parents as well as babies and obviously and babies pick up on that so if you've got the opportunity for calm and just take the take the vibe down a little bit that's going to benefit everyone isn't yeah it, really? and one of the yeah. best ways to to get your baby used to using essential oils is for you to wear them hmm. so you're like a human diffuser so whether you put them on um, you know, on diffuser jewellery, whether you wear them as a perfume. There's actually a great Mother's Day gift um, that Young Living is offering at the moment with a, a great diffuser necklace. Mm. Um, you know, try that's a great way for to get babies used to essential yep. oils, particularly in that under three months stage where I said that I don't use oils unless I have to. Mm. Um, and, you know, even before introducing them in baby massage, one of, a great way to use oils with babies is to actually diffuse them. Mm -hmm. Now, it, less is definitely more when it comes to babies. So, you know, start off with one to two drops in your diffuser and don't put your diffuser right next door to the baby's bed. Um, you know, you can actually put the diffuser even outside the baby's door and, and the oils will waft in. Um, you know, be wary of the room size that you're putting the diffuser in. So if you've got a really powerful diffuser and a tiny little room, <laughs> just think about what it will be like for baby to be breathing yeah. in all those oils. And even though lavender is really calming, you know what, you can have the opposite effect. Some nights, you know, I've been a bit heavy handed with mm -hmm. putting the lavender in my girl's diffusers for the, you know, they have the dolphin diffuser in their room and I've actually hyped them up rather than calm them down. So, you know, make sure that that you're a bit, you know, like stay on the less side is, is my yeah. advice to you. Small, small people, small lungs, yeah. less is more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number two. Roman chamomile. Once again, these these oils are so good for for multiple things. So, um, Roman chamomile really calming, um, great for skin. We, you know, why do we drink Roman chamomile? Why do we drink chamomile tea? It's to calm us down. Mm. And um, same with um, with the, using the Roman chamomile oil. Just another really like i never actually say that essential oils are safe for babies i use the term low risk okay because you don't know that there's a baby out there that you know may have a condition and then might react to the oils so the oils that are on my list my top five are what i call low risk they have been yeah. studied and studied and studied and you know and they don't ha um have the you know there's been very little side effects or reactions yeah. to them so roman chamomile is my number two oil number two they're gentle oils these ones aren't they yeah in, in all kinds of ways gentle on skin yeah. yeah yeah um are we up to number one yes number one i I, I'm guessing people have guessed it, maybe? I don't, I don't think anyone's guessed it. I haven't seen anyone write in the comments what they think number one is. Would you one say this be. is a 
gentle oil? Oh, is babies? that where you were going with that comment? The gentle oil for mm. babies? Number one is gentle baby. Yay! Yay. Yay. Um, it's really interesting because my very, very first oil that I was given um, when, you know, when I was introduced to Young Living was actually Gentle Baby. And at the time, I remember thinking to myself, oh, my God, that's so strong. Like, <laughs> that just smells so strong. And it's so interesting because now yeah, I... Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, absolutely just love it. It's like my favorite oil. Mm. Um, it's a blend. Um, and um, I'll just read, I'm going to do up the label, but I'm going to read to you what's in it. Um, so once again, it's got geranium, it's got um, coriander, it's got palmarosa, it's got lavender, ylang ylang, I mean the same oils, Roman chamomile, lemon, yeah, wow. and you know what? It's got rose. It's got rose. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got rose in it. Wow. So it's just, it's amazing oil for skin, amazing to put in the diffuser. And you know what? Guess what? What? You can get it for free this month. Yes. How do you get it for free though? So if you know anyone who's interested in getting started with Young Living and they buy a premium starter kit from yeah. now until the 30th of June, they get this for free. It's worth $35. Yep. And they're getting it for free. 30th of June? Sorry, 30th of April. April, yeah. End of this month. Yeah. Yep. So th for this month only, um, they actually get Gentle Baby for free. So it's a great time to tell people, mm. particularly mums with babies, because yeah. not only can they order the premium starter kit, but they can get a whole heap of seedlings range, the seedlings range, mm. Gentle Baby. Um, yep. There's never been a better time for mums to get started with Young Living. Yeah. 12 oils. Yeah, 12 oh, oils and a diffuser, diffuser. Yep. $259 plus postage. Yeah, yep. that's good. Yep. So that's it. Yep, that's it. That's wanna, my top five. Do you want to quickly go back from Let's Go Five? Was... Yep. Five is the seedlings range. In particular, I love this baby oil because it's great. It's already got the oils in it. They've already worked out the right dilution. So if yep. you don't want to go to the trouble of thinking how many drops did Kim say in that 15 mils of coconut oil, I don't want to worry about that. I just want to give my baby a nice massage, make their skin nice and soft after a, um, after a bath. It's already made up for you. It's already diluted at the right ratio. It's got those oils in it um, that are going to be calming and relaxing and nourishing to skin. So, and um, if it's as delicious as the baby lotion, it'll be lovely. Yes, yeah, it's very <laughs> lovely. All right, so that's five. Four is frankincense. Love it. Three is lavender. Beautiful. Two is Roman chamomile. Awesome. Those three are all great for, you know, having peaceful, calm houses and mm. for babies with unhappy skin. Yep. Or even for you, yep. um, you know, I, I like frankincense as, you know, a massage oil, particularly, oh, you know, yeah. after having a baby. It's a, it's nice on your skin. Um, yeah. It's got, nice a magic, down there. it's got a magical quality. You know what I mean? Why do we, we always end up down there? I know. Okay, that's all right. It's good. And my number one oil is Gentle Baby. Yay. So, yes. So that's my top five this week. So speaking of number one oils... I did not know how you were going to tie this in. Like well, I was thinking to myself, how are you going to say that this is for babies? Well, the thing about Shutran is that it works in all kinds of weird and wonderful ways. And if, you ever, if you're ever thinking, now's a good time to make a baby. Oh, making a baby. Smell that. <laughs> you know you want to. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll see you guys thank you so much um, if you have any comments then please put them down we'd love to know uh, what you think and particularly with um, oils that have worked well with your kids we always we're always interested to get feedback um, and what's also, your favorite baby oil yeah absolutely so um, yeah definitely leave us a comment and um, yeah we look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next week all right see ya bye guys